Like most people I feel you get what you pay for. I don't play professionally but I can tell the difference in quality equipment. I have several amps and this 112 combo amp is well worth the money. Right out the gate I figured I would need to upgrade the tubes but not at all. The tone is excellent. I'm not a big fan of the reverb. But all in all that was not a show stopper. I have a Marshall 212 combo solid state amp that I literally have not turned on since I got this amp. Blues tones are off the chart. I would just say that anyone that slams this amp at this price is just hating. Everybody has a right to their opinion and I respect that. I just would say before you drop $600 on a amp that looks like this and starts with an F. Try this rig out first. And I love that company that starts with an F. Also, I see the prices increasing. Hum. Maybe you should buy one sooner than later. Blown away by what you get for the price. Really well made with a nice vintage look to it. This is my first tube amp and the difference is night and day compared to solid state. I feel like I've left the matrix and entered paradise as a plus they come with JJ tubes now update. Replace grill cloth with fender wheat. Very nice amp for the money. Sounds great right out of the box. Later after a good break in period. Maybe a year. I'm going to put some preferred series tubes in it and see what it does. It was delivered double boxed with sturdy styrofoam corners. Reverb sounds nice at level 6. Can be very loud at 15 watt for smaller to medium venues or softer at 1 watt which is great for bedroom practice. For good clear sound for America Strat. I keep the gain at between 1 and 2 and the volume at 3 or 4. Before you first turn the amp on, keep volume at 0. Let the tubes warm up for 2 to 3 minutes, because it does not have a standby switch. I just received this amp a couple of days prior to this post, so still in testing mode plug in and jam on.